Hello guys, how are you all? Welcome to my channel, Cracking IELTS 9.0. Today I'll be discussing Cambridge 16 test 4 reading passage 3 of the academic reading module. The heading of the passage is Attitude towards Artificial Intelligence. So let's not waste much time and dive into the passage. So initially we have few headings here as you can see. So these are the list of headings and we have few paragraphs. So A, B, C, D, E, F. So we need to read all the paragraphs and select the exact matchable and we have to select the right heading for those paragraphs. Okay, so let's read paragraph A and then we'll come to the list of headings. Okay. So let's read paragraph A then. Artificial intelligence can already predict the future. Wow. Police forces are using it to map when and where crime is likely to occur. Okay. Doctors can use it to predict when a patient is most likely to have a heart attack or a stroke. Wow. Researchers have are even trying to give AI information so it can plan for unexpected consequences. Wow. So many decisions in our lives require a good forecast and AI is almost always better at forecasting than we are. Yet for all these technological advances, we still seem to deeply lack confidence in AI predictions. Recent cases show, recent cases show that people don't like relying on AI and prefer to trust human experts even if those experts are wrong. Okay, if we want AI to really benefit people, we need to find a way to get people to trust it. To do that, we need to understand why people are so reluctant to trust AI in the first place. Wow, we have just read a wonderful paragraph. So now let's uh, try to uh, understand what's given in the list of headings so an increasing divergence of attitudes towards AI so did we read anything about uh, two opposite uh, views about AI or increasing uh, divergence no reasons why we have more faith in human judgment than in AI the passage uh, see the passage said that we uh, prefer to trust human experts even if those experts are wrong but reasons are not given right here it says reasons reasons why we have more faith in human judgment than in ai no there are no reasons given next the superiority of ai projections over those made by humans mm, this can be one possible heading because he is talking about ai projections right the superiority of AI projections over those made by humans. Yes, I'll tell you why this is a suitable heading. See, AI projections means these police forces, okay, using it to map when and where the crime is likely to occur. Doctors using it to predict uh, this heart attack. Researchers also using it uh, to plan for some unexpected consequences. All these things are AI projections for the future okay and the superiority of ai over those made by humans so humans are these guys police doctor researchers they are depending on ai to predict the future or for the future projections so yes a is talking about that okay so the paragraph a is talking about these uh, superiority of ai projections so 3 27 is 3 clearly so a is 3 now let's read B paragraph and we'll come back to the list of headings again. Okay, what does the B paragraph say now? Take the case of Watson for Oncology, one of the technology giants IBM's supercomputer programs. Okay, so Watson is one of the supercomputer. Okay, their attempt to promote this program to cancer doctors was a PR disaster. Okay. The AI promised to deliver top quality recommendations on the treatment of 12 cancers that accounted for 80% of the world's cases. But when doctors first interacted with Watson, they found themselves in a rather difficult situation. On the one hand, if Watson 
provided guidance about a treatment that coincided with their own opinions physicians did not see much point in watson's recommendations the supercomputer was simply telling them what they already knew what they already knew and these recommendations did not change the actual treatment okay so one case was watson was telling them what they already knew so what is the second case on the other hand if watson generated a recommendation that contradicted the expert's opinion doctors would typically conclude that watson wasn't competent and the machine wouldn't be able to explain why its treatment was plausible because its machine learning algorithms were simply too complex to be fully understood by humans wow consequently this has caused even more suspicion and disbelief suspicion and disbelief leading many doctors to ignore the seemingly outlandish ai recommendations and stick to their own expertise wow so let's read uh, the list of headings and we'll try to understand i hope you guys understood the paragraph okay so an increasing divergence of attitudes towards ai uh, so was there any uh, divergence of attitudes no i don't think so the reasons why we have more faith in human judgment than in ai no reasons were not given the process by which ai can help us make good decisions no there nothing about good decisions the advantages of involving users in ai processes you know uh, we are not involving any users here widespread distrust distrust of an ai innovation wow i think this one suits well what is the ai innovation here the watson supercomputer right widespread distrust see we have just read see this has caused even more suspicion and disbelief disbelief means distrust so this word is easily matching with the heading here so i think b should be 6 okay so widespread distrust this is one encouraging openness no he didn't talk about a surprising successful ai application no it was a disaster it was not successful right so these two options doesn't match so let's read the paragraph c now this is just one example of people's lack of confidence in ai and their reluctance to accept what ai has to offer trust in other people is often based on our understanding of how others think and having experience of their reliability this helps create a psychological feeling of safety ai on the other hand is still fairly new and unfamiliar to most people yes even if it can be technically explained and that's not always the case ai's decision making process is usually too difficult for most people to comprehend and interacting with something we don't understand can cause anxiety and give us a sense that we are losing the control wow okay so here he is presenting some uh, reasons i think let's read further we have one more small paragraph here many people are also simply not familiar with many instances of ai actually working because it often happens in the background instead they are acutely aware of instances instances where ai goes wrong embarrassing ai failures receive a dis proportionate amount of media attention emphasizing the message that we cannot rely on the technology machine learning is not full proof in part because the humans who design it aren't so uh, what is the meaning of full proof means uh, which cannot be uh, damage or which cannot go wrong so machine learning is not full proof means it may go wrong something wrong may happen right so what are these things the writer is giving here i think all these things they are the reasons what is the first reason guys he gave one is see they are fairly new and unfamiliar this is one reason fairly new and unfamiliar and ai it is also too difficult for most people to comprehend comprehend means understand so uh, ai is very difficult to understand 
and something we don't understand it causes anxiety and we can start losing control this is one more reason and uh, now one more reason is the media attention right so if any ai uh, fails then it receives an uh, bashing on the media so people who watch that news on the media they feel that we cannot rely on the technology so machine learning is not full proof means it may go wrong any time there is no guarantee for these machines right so what does the paragraph c say let's see i think these are the reasons right reasons why we have more faith in human judgment than in ai yes so we have uh, more faith in human judgment than in ai because of all those reasons so two so section c should be two okay let's read further now feelings about ai run deep in a recent experiment people from a range of backgrounds were given various sci-fi films about ai to watch and then asked questions about automation in everyday life okay it was found that regardless of whether the film they watched depicted ai in a positive or negative light simply watching a cinematic vision of our technological future polarized the participants attitudes okay polarized means it biased okay uh, optimist became more extreme in their enthusiasm for ai and skeptics became even more god dead okay skeptics means critics or pessimists all right okay so this suggests people use relevant evidence about ai in a biased manner to support their existing attitudes a deep rooted human tendency known as confirmation bias okay mm. as ai is represented more and more in media and entertainment it could lead to a society split between those who benefit from ai and those who reject it more pertinently refusing to accept the advantages offered by ai could place a large group of people at serious disadvantage wow i think here i can see the uh, different attitudes right the increasing uh, different attitudes means see uh, this line guys see polarized the participants attitudes means optimist and skeptics so this is the divergence optimists and skeptics they are optimists feel that they are becoming more enthusiastic skeptics they are becoming guarded okay and one more sentence is here it could lead to a society split between those who benefit from ai and those who reject it so this is again the divergence right so society split means the increasing divergence splitting means divergence of attitudes between those who benefit from ai and those who reject it so d should be option number 1 right so we we saw both divergences both opposite views so both after watching the sci fi films they got diverted from the uh, ideas they had different attitudes different view points that's what he wanted to say so fortunately we already have some ideas about how to improve, improve trust in ai simply having previous experience with ai can significantly improve people's opinions about the technology as was found in the study mentioned above evidence also suggests that more you use other technologies such as the internet the more you trust them okay good so another solution may be to reveal more about the algorithms which ai uses and purposes they serve so another solution he is giving some solutions here okay so what is it reveal more about the algorithms which ai uses and the purpose they serve several high profile social media companies and online marketplaces already released their transparency reports about government requests and surveillance disclosures a similar practice for ai could help people have a better understanding of the way algorithm decisions are made wow i think this is a pretty easy one we have here okay so what are the remaining ones the process by which ai can help us make good decisions no the advantages of involving users in ai no here he didn't talk about involving someone in the ai encouraging openness about how ai functions yes 
encouraging openness transparency yes yes seven is fitting exactly so seven should be the right answer because encouraging openness see another solution may be reveal more reveal more about the algorithms of ai users and the purposes they serve so revealing more means encouraging openness also he talks about uh, see online market places they have already released the transparency report about the government and the disclosure surveillance disclosures right so similar practice should be done means encouraging openness so about ai with this will help definitely so let's read the next passage what is it yes a research suggest that allowing people some control over ai decision making could also improve trust and enable ai to learn from human experience for example one study showed that when people were allowed when people were allowed the freedom to slightly modify an algorithm they felt more satisfied with its decisions more likely to believe it was superior and more likely to use it in the future wow Uh, we don't need to understand the intricate inner workings of ai systems but if people are given a degree of responsibility for how they are implemented they will be more willing to accept ai into their lives oh wow so i think this should be involving people right because more people were involved see for example one study showed that when people were allowed the freedom to slightly modify the algorithm they felt satisfied so what does uh, it say here the advantages of involving users in ai processes so involving people from outside to change their algorithm this will have a great effect so f should be 5 okay f should be 5 right okay so we have completed the list of headings now so let's move to the next set of questions what is the writer doing in section a okay let's read the paragraph a once again ai can already predict the future police can use for this doctors can use for this researchers for this many decisions in our life require a good forecast and ai is always better at forecasting than we are at for all these technological advances we still seem to deeply lack confidence in ai predictions recent cases show that people don't like relying on ai and prefer to trust human experts even if these experts are wrong okay if we want ai to really benefit people we need to find a way to get people to trust it to do that we need to understand why people are so reluctant to trust ai in the first place Yeah, why they are reluctant to trust okay so let's read the options now okay providing a solution to a concern mm uh-huh. is he providing any solution there no i don't think so he did not talk about any problem or any solution justifying an opinion about an issue uh was there any issue or a problem discussed there uh no i don't think so highlighting the existence of a problem ah yes existence of a problem what is the problem that is existing yes lack of confidence in ai predictions so this is the problem that is existing so he is highlighting that problem so recent cases show that people don't like to relying on ai prefer human experts because even if they are wrong that's what he is saying so this is the existing problem deeply lacking confidence in ai predictions so highlighting the existence of a problem yes he is doing so explaining the reasons for a phenomenon no he is not explaining any reasons he is just highlighting the existence of the problem right next question 34 according to section c why might some people be reluctant to accept ai just one example of uh, people's lack of confidence in ai and their reluctance to accept what ai has to offer okay so we are coming here trust in other people is often based on our understanding of how others thinks and having experience of the reliability this helps create a psychological feeling of safety ai fairly new and unfamiliar to most people 
ओके इवन इफ टेक्निकली एक्सप्लेन इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड टू डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके सो दे आर एफ्राइड इट विल रीप्लेस ह्यूमन्स इन डिसीजन मेकिंग जॉब्स नो यू डिड नॉट टॉक अबाउट दैट ओके इट्स कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी मेक्स दम फील दैट दे आर एट दर डिसएडवांटेज येस दिस कैन बी वन आंसर सो लेट्स पुट इट इट्स कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी राइट they cannot understand it is very complex to understand so that is the one main reason because uh, they are reluctant to that's why they are reluctant to accept the ai so b can be the answer they would rather wait for the technology to be tested over a period of time no he did not talk about testing or any waiting for a long period no misunderstandings about how it works make it seem more challenging than it is no he doesn't talk about any misunderstandings right so b should be the right answer okay next go to 35 so what does the writer say about the media in section c of the text see so this is the paragraph about media so embarrassing ai failures receive a disproportionate amount of media attention emphasizing the message that we cannot rely on technology machine learning is not foolproof in part because the humans who design it are on okay media about section c right it leads the public to be mistrustful of ai yeah of course it leads the public to uh, be mistrustful this can be one option keep it on hold it devotes an excessive amount of attention to ai no not excessive amount of attention no it reports uh, its reports of incidents involving ai are often inaccurate no reports are accurate but uh, when there are uh, huge failures that will be showed in the media so yes this is not the option it gives the impression that ai failures are due to designer error no he doesn't talk about any designer error right so a should be the right answer it leads the public to be mistrustful so embarrassing ai failures receive a huge amount of media attention emphasizing see here emphasizing the message that we cannot rely on the technology okay so that's what is your answer so this is the multiple choice section and let's move to the next set of questions okay here we have s no and not given just like true false and not given okay just uh, remember one thing guys uh, in yes no not given you should write the answers yes no not given only if you write true false not given they will not be considered right especially yes no if you write true for yes it is wrong if you write false for no it is wrong okay so please uh, look at the instructions carefully if yes no not given is given your answer should be in yes no not given if true false not given are given then your answer should be in true false and not given okay i hope this answers clears a lot of doubts next subjective depictions of ai in sky fi films make people change their opinions about automation okay where did we read about sky fi films i think we read in paragraph d right okay what did we read about uh, sky fi films okay in a recent experiment people from a range of backgrounds were given various sky fi films about ai to watch and then asked questions about automation in everyday life it was found that regardless of whether the film they watched depicted ai in a positive or negative light simply watching a cinematic vision of our technological future polarized the participants attitudes wow so what is given here uh, subjective depictions of ai in sky fi films make people change their opinions about automation no see irrespective of the depiction of ai whether in a positive angle or a negative angle just by looking at that cinematic vision people were polarized 
so the subjective depictions of ai does not make uh, people to change their opinion so the answer should be no okay portrayals of ai in media and entertainment are likely to become more positive so portrayals of artificial intelligence in media and entertainment are likely to become more positive so where did we read about uh, media and entertainment again it comes from the d paragraph right see as ai is represented more and more in media and entertainment it could lead to the society split between those who benefit from ai and those who reject it okay so here he is not talking about anything positive or negative right so it is not given whether it will become more positive or more negative so the answer should be not given clearly right guys okay now 38 rejection of the possibilities of ai may have a negative effect on many people's lives so rejection of the possibilities of ai may have a negative effect on many people's life paragraph right so more uh, see refusing to accept the advantages of ai could place a larger group of people at serious disadvantage yes so refusing means rejecting so rejecting the advantages of ai can lead to disadvantages simply so rejection of possibilities of ai may have negative effect on many people's life yes it is given it agrees this sentence agrees with the passage hence it is yes next question familiarity with ai has very little impact on people's attitudes to the technology so what are the keywords familiarity with ai has very little impact on people's attitudes to technology i don't think so i think familiarity familiarity with uh, ai i think we have read it here right see simple ha uh, having previous experience with ai can significantly improve people's opinions about the technology as found in the study evidence also suggests that more you use other technologies such as the internet the more you trust them so the more you use ai the more improve the people's opinions about the technology so familiarity with ai has very little impact little impact on people's attitudes no it has a very high impact it can improve the people's attitudes see guys it is given here in the e passage see simply having previous experience with ai can significantly improve people's opinions about the technology okay great so let's move to the next question now last one guys ai applications which users are able to modify are more likely to gain consumer approval so ai applications which users are able to modify are more likely to gain consumer approval i think we have read about it right so they are allowing some people from outside right see for example one study showed that when people are allowed the freedom to slightly modify an algorithm they felt more satisfied with its decisions more likely to believe it was superior and more likely to use it in the future see more likely to use it in the future what does it say more likely to gain consumer approval yes both are the same okay so these are our answers guys so this is the end of uh, the third passage i hope uh, i have done well and please let me know in the comment sections if you have any doubts please do not forget to like share and subscribe these videos are really helpful for ielts aspirants So until next time goodbye have a great day